Hello, my name is Michael Arnell. I am a member of the Apollo Players. We're lucky enough to be the storytellers that use this wonderful little theatre to tell our stories. Seven of them every year. Every year we do seven plays, mixed genre, so there's always something for everybody. And the play we're telling you about and showing you how we put it on from page to stage is Dion Borsico's London Assurance. Now that may not mean very much to any of you, so when I explain about the poster, you'll understand why we do the poster the way we do, because London Assurance, what does that mean? Well, actually, it's a rollicking comedy set in the 19th century. So this play is going to involve just about every department to the full especially the costume department. I'm sitting here in this beautiful little theatre. It used to be a Methodist chapel 200 odd years ago. Well, 40 years ago it was a Methodist chapel, built about 200 years ago and acquired by the Newport Repertory Club, which became the Apollo Theatre Players. And it was bought by them, completely gutted, and altered into the wonderful little theatre that we're all familiar with today, that I think you will have a look at. So the auditions are done and dusted. But there is a great deal of work I still have to do as the director of the play. The first thing I have to do is read the play in detail and decide exactly how I'm going to play it. Um, because it is a comedy, I'm going to go for those elements. And any jokes I find in it, if they're really good jokes, I will repeat them. I also like to, in rehearsal, see what the, um, the capabilities of the cast are and some of them just have a facility f in timing, whatever, and so I will throw in extra jokes. It's not just the actors that are giving up a great deal of their time, though. A lot of technical staff are involved in the production of any play. For instance, the lighting. I will have a meeting early on in the rehearsal period with the two guys in this case that are going to be designing the lighting, setting the lighting, and then operating the lighting. We will work from the model to actually setting the lamps exactly how I want them um, and they will also be responsible for the sound in this particular play they are really going to be part of the production as well because I'm going to have communication from the stage to the lighting box which is the back of the auditorium but that's another story
very important department is the costume. The first thing they do is take everybody's measurements, they then look at my notes, and they recreate from my rather poor sketches the most beautiful costumes, as you will see. So you have to remember you're telling a story and a costume is just a prop and it's part of the story. So in this play there are about three groups of people. There's Sir Harcourt Courtley's group, his family from London. They're the people with London assurance and their signature colour will be blue. Um, a guest at the house, the country house they go to is Lady Gay Spanker and she and her party, their, their signature colour will be red, but all the people in the country where most of the play is set will be in browns and yellows and greens. Those are the colours. Now we come on to props. To tell a story, you need a prop. For instance, it might be a pair of spectacles. On, they make me different than off. <laughs> and what I encourage all actors to do is, during the rehearsal period, to find out exactly what prop might help them. I will suggest props. For instance, at the beginning of the play, it is important that um, the gardener has a hoe. It's amazing what you can do with a hoe on stage. Props have to be gathered. For our play, we will have a props person, who is Di, and Di will oversee the gathering of all the props and they go range from the smallest item to pieces of furniture. This is backstage, the audience are down here, there is the edge of the stage and a slight thrust. These are the tabs, the main curtains that will cross and hide the set before the play. These lines, thick lines you can see here, are the flats, the, the board-like structures that will form the walls of the, the whole set. At the back I have a large area with very tall windows just so that I can backlight them, because in this play we're sometimes inside and sometimes outside. These rostra here form some steps that come down from doors that might be the outside doors or the inside doors of the house, double doors. On this side upstage, and it's always the actors right and left.
small aspect of production that I hadn't mentioned, of course, is publicity. It's no good telling a story if you don't tell people you're telling a story. So we have to design a poster. In this case, I've designed this. As you can see, it's got what is needed on any poster. The brand name, Apollo. Everybody seeing that will know what it is and where it is. If they're not sure where it is, there are details. At the bottom you have the dates clearly and then all the other little bits of information about booking. But what people really want to see is what's in the middle. In this case, the title of the play, which is London Assurance. In this case, what does that mean to anybody, London Assurance? Well, I've written it and I made sure that I did this so it almost looks amateur. I've done crazy writing so if people glance at it they know it's a comedy. That is confirmed by what it says above it.